East Alabama residents are stepping up to help communities devastated by Hurricane Helena last week, while the Alabama National Guard is sending troops to the hardest hit regions in North Carolina. Also, tree farmers across Alabama are now eligible for federal funds to help them recover from the southern pine beetle infestation. Coming up in sports, we head out to Mike Dearman Gym in Weaver to check out the Weaver Bearcats taking on the Welburn Panthers in volleyball action. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by Oxford Lumber. Come visit any of our locations in Oxford, Jacksonville, Talladega, and Roanoke. Hello, we're glad you could join us. I'm Mike Studham. Katie Edwards has the evening off. Rescue workers are still assessing the massive damage done to the mountainous portions of western North Carolina, eastern Tennessee, South Carolina, and Georgia. Officials say that dozens of people were killed in those storms, while hundreds of others are still missing. Some towns were virtually wiped off the map, roads were destroyed, and tens of billions of dollars in damage have been reported. In response to these reports, the Calhoun County Emergency Management Agency, along with other local first responders, are collecting much-needed supplies to be sent to those communities. Donations are being accepted at local fire stations and other collection points throughout Calhoun County from now until Thursday evening. The EMA is asking specifically for flashlights and batteries, non-perishable food items, personal hygiene and feminine products, hand tools such as rakes, shovels and buckets, baby supplies such as diapers, wipes and formula, first aid kits, pet food and supplies, and cleaning supplies. Clothing items are not being accepted. Monetary donations may be made to either the American Red Cross or the United Way of East Central Alabama. Donation locations include the Jacksonville Fire Station No. 1, Anniston Fire Stations 1 and 3, Oxford Fire Stations 1, 2, and 3, the Oxford Police Station, and Oxford Health Systems Paramedics. When we return, help is on the way for local tree farmers whose forests have been damaged by a beetle infestation. For over 60 years, Oxford Lumber has been servicing our area and our customer service has always been our main focus. Our customer service is what sets us apart from anyone else. From the moment you enter, our highly trained staff will treat you like family. To enthusiastically provide total customer satisfaction within a positive and self-fulfilling employee relations environment. Visit us at any of our four locations or at OxfordLumber.com. Barrett Body Shop has moved to its new location on Highway 431 in Alexandria. Barrett has been delivering top-notch collision repair in Calhoun County since 2000. Our skilled team restores your vehicle to pre-accident condition with a commitment to quality and safety. Choose Barrett Body Shop for honest, reliable service. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by WM Grocery, located in Heflin, Wadawi, Roanoke, and in Piedmont. Financial relief is now available for timber owners in Alabama who suffered damages from the southern pine beetles this summer. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Farm Service Agency announced on Monday that all 67 Alabama counties have been approved for the Emergency Forest Restoration Program. That can mean up to a half million dollars for some owners. The program sign-up period runs from now through March 31st. The Alabama Forestry Commission has identified more than 10,000 southern pine beetle spots affecting approximately 3.1 million trees across the state. That's an estimated 3.5 million tons of dead wood on the landscape. At current prices, that's a loss of approximately $87.5 million. Timber owners whose lands qualify for the program may be reimbursed for up to 75% of their losses. 
The minimum restoration grant is $1,000. The maximum is $500,000. When we come back, National Guard units from Alabama are headed to North Carolina to help with rescue and recovery. Since 1993, WM Grocery has been a major part of our local community. WM offers the very best in fresh produce and an outstanding meat department. WM also has many local products not found anywhere else and fresh sushi every day. If you need an event catered, come see Mrs. K at any WM store. Curbside pickup is also available for your online grocery orders. Be sure to download the WM app for all the deals of the week and shopper rewards. Go check them out today at any of their locations. We take pride in our community and appreciate your business. Getting my car serviced is easier than ever with Buster Miles Automotive Group in Cleburne and Calhoun County. They pick up my car, service it, and deliver it back. Convenient, efficient, and top quality. Schedule your service today and see why Buster Miles Automotive Group is the smart choice. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by Waldrop Manufacturing, metal buildings made right here in Calhoun County. On Monday, Governor Kay Ivey directed the activation of an Alabama National Guard team to assist in the most heavily impacted areas of North Carolina. This 13-person team consists of 11 airmen from around the state who serve as Alabama's fatality search and recovery team. The group is part of the Guard's Emergency Response Force Package. That's a modular task force prepared for quick deployment for disaster response. It includes communications, medical, decontamination, search and extraction, and casualty recovery elements. Because Alabama Power was able to restore service to all of its customers affected by Hurricane Helene by Friday afternoon, the company sent teams to help rest restore power in Georgia Saturday morning. These crews are assisting in the areas of Waynesboro, Vidalia, Savannah, Waycross, Augusta, and others. Alabama Power and Georgia Power are both owned by the Southern Company, and they frequently cooperate with other utilities to respond in emergency situations. Wilderness Adventures in Cleburne County is going to host a kids' fishing rodeo on Saturday. That'll be Saturday afternoon from 4 to 7. The rodeo will be held at 1755 County Road 6 in Heflin. And we'll be back in a moment with the weather. For metal buildings in Alabama and the southeast, Waldrop Manufacturing is your one-stop source. A Waldrop metal building provides the coverage and protection your investments need. They specialize in carports, RV covers, portable buildings, and storage buildings. Stop paying rent for storage. With Waldrop's price per foot, you can actually save money by buying straight from the manufacturer. Waldrop buildings are guaranteed because Waldrop manufactures buildings with U.S. Steel right here in Calhoun County. Waldrop Manufacturing, serving the entire Southeast. Give them a call today. Barrett Body Shop has moved to its new location on Highway 431 in Alexandria. Barrett has been delivering top-notch collision repair in Calhoun County since 2000. Our skilled team restores your vehicle to pre-accident condition with a commitment to quality and safety. Choose Barrett Body Shop for honest, reliable service. Getting my car serviced is easier than ever with Buster Miles Automotive Group in Cleburne and Calhoun County. They pick up my car, service it, and deliver it back. Convenient, efficient, and top quality. Schedule your service today and see why Buster Miles Automotive Group is the smart choice. And the weather for your street for Tuesday night. We'll take you out to Little John Drive in Oxford. It's going to be mostly cloudy with a low of around 61 degrees. That's in Oxford. Coming up in your seven-day forecast, you'll notice that for the rest of the work week, we're going to be mostly in the 80s with a slight chance of rain on Friday. This is race weekend, and the current forecast is for no rain and highs in the low 80s. A bit cooler weather is heading our way at the start of the next work week with the highs falling back into the 70s and the lows into the 50s. And now, 
Here's a look in the world of sports. Let's head out to Weaver High School where the Bearcats are taking on the Lady Panthers of Walter Welburn. The Bearcats had a near-perfect match taking three of four sets, 25-8, 25-13, 20-25, and 25-16. Weaver had several key players in last night's game. Ali Anderson with four kills, Ansley Montgomery with one ace and four kills, Maddie Deck, one ace, three kills, six digs, Chloe Coulson, 13 aces and seven kills, Gracie Duncan, four aces, one kill, one assist, and 17 digs, Ali Watson, five digs, Kimora Miles with two aces, eight kills, and one dig, J.D. Hatton Riviera, one ace, two kills, 17 assists, and five digs, and Bailey Hodges with one kill. EAN caught up with Coach Ebony Lewis of the Bearcats, and she says they have a strong rotation that just seems to work for them. Tonight the team played very well. We changed our lineup up a little bit, and Wolverham beat us in a set, but overall we have a rotation that just works for us, and once we get in that rotation, the girls seem to be unstoppable in it. While Weaver has been strong so far this season, Coach Lewis says there's always room to improve. We need to work on communication with each other on the court and just some coverage issues that we have. And once they get that down, it will be better. And Weaver, this is the best team that has come through Weaver in a while, and it's just good to see them grow as athletes. With the Calhoun County Volleyball Tournament just a few days away, we asked Coach Lewis what this team needs to work on to prepare for the tournament. We're just practicing and working on the things that we have high percentages of errors on and really like I said the communication issue is a struggle for our team and once we get that down it'll be better for us. Weaver is currently the number eight seed for the Calhoun County Volleyball Tournament that begins on Saturday. Thanks for watching us today. You can find us every weeknight on Facebook and YouTube, our website, and now on Rumble. Just go to the platform of your choice and watch our news, sports, and weather coverage whenever it's convenient for you. We'll see you back here Wednesday for your news on your schedule.